Welcome back to another vlog. This is gonna be kind of like the beginnings of a sick vlog, unfortunately. Um, I'm just feeling that little tickle in my throat. And I mean, as you can see, I've been up to a lot recently, so it's, you know, it could have been from anywhere. I think the last time I was sick was when we were in Japan, and that was back in March. So I'm actually pretty grateful that I've only gotten sick twice this year so far, because last year, I think I literally got sick like nine times in the entire year, and that's not normal for me. So listen, I'll I'll take it but yeah I'm just starting to feel that like little downturn and I'm just feeling like Ugh. so I thought I would hang out with you for a little bit before that happens so anyway the first thing I want to get done today is I really want to try this again TikTok recipe that I saw I'm grabbing my paper towel holder as a tripod and yes I am literally in my pajamas okay we're not gonna talk about it <laughs> I'm so tired but I saw this recipe on TikTok where you take a peach and you freeze it and then you like grate it over either yogurt or just like on its own whipped cream all sorts of different things I think people are doing like cottage cheese ricotta cheese etc um, but I'm gonna try it out because I froze one the other day and I've been curious about it and I feel like the frozen peach will just feel really good on my throat. So that's what we're gonna do. So let's get our ingredients. Am I doing like a TikTok recipe in every vlog now? Yes, probably. Okay, so we are going to need our frozen peach. Yeah, that thing's frozen. I probably should let it sit out for a few minutes before I try it. And then I'm gonna do it over yogurt, I think. That just sounds really good to me. So we're gonna do a little bit of yogurt and then maybe like... I haven't decided if I want to do like a crunchy element. Like I saw this girl on TikTok do uh, pistachios. That sounds kind of good, but it also like granola sounds kind of good. So I don't know. Let's let's see what we got. You are currently in my pantry, and I do not see any granola. So do I even have pistachios? I thought I did. I do have like a Nature's Valley bar that's like essentially granola, and I mean. <laughs> If you've had these, you know that like the second you open them, it's pretty much granola anyway. The whole freaking thing breaks. So maybe I can do that. I thought I had a bag of pistachios, but I guess I don't. I have tofoki flavored almonds, so that probably won't be very good. And I have cashews. That's a no-go. So we'll go with this. And then like, do I want to do anything kind of drizzle like honey, agave, kind of. Okay, we got our honey, we got our bar. So let's get shaving and see how this goes. I have no idea. Oh, by the way, we're finally done with this area above our sink. I'm gonna give you the, the rundown. Cause I feel like when I'm editing, like every time I pass by this area, it looks different. So basically kind of like here-ish, there is like this random outlet slash, I don't know, hook thingy that I think used to be for a clock back in the day, but there isn't a clock big enough to cover it. So we had originally gotten a few of these prints from the farmer's market or from the Melrose Trading Post, I mean. Um, and so we had like hung them up, it was good, but then we decided to hang curtains and then they weren't even anymore. So then we needed to buy <laughs> 
<laughs> anyway, long story short, I really like the way it looks now. It's so, so cute. So we have the espresso martini one, Aperol spritz, Negroni, and old fashioned. And I just think they look adorable. I included them in the last vlog. So if you're curious about the stand we got them from, I like zoomed in on their name and their website and stuff. And then we have this over here. And it's over where Layla's area used to be. And I really can't like look at it for too long because I will like actually throw up from grief. But we're thinking about getting some sort of like baker's rack or something to put here to like fill in the space. Let me know what your thoughts, opinions are, suggestions. Because we have a little bit like very limited outlet space in this kitchen and we have two extras right there. So it would be nice to be able to put like maybe our microwave on it or like something where we can like free up some more counter space over there. So if you have any suggestions, let me know. But anyways, okay, back to the recipe and my paper towel tripod, cause I can't find mine. <laughs> I'm gonna use my little heart bowl because this is just the cutest dish to me ever. And I thrifted this like, I don't know, a year or two ago. And it's funny because I was all proud of it. I was like, I found these vintage heart dishes. And I probably paid like $2 each for them. Um, then someone commented, those are actually from Dollar Tree and they would have been a dollar, so that's what I get for not paying attention. <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna do some yogurt. This is my favorite one, it's the Oikos Triple Zero. I like it because it has like 15 grams of protein, and I try to like get more protein these days, so you know I'm fuller for longer, all that good stuff. Okay, then most of the people are just grating the peach like right over the yogurt. This is a white peach. It's one of those like, I showed it in the Trader Joe's haul. It's one of those like donut peaches or Saturn peaches, but it is white on the inside. So I don't think it's gonna be as pretty as the people who have like those bright yellow ones, but we're gonna try. Oh. Oh, it's actually working, hold on. Can you see that? It's like barely working, but it is working. So, okay, let's keep going. I am so scared to cut myself with this thing. I feel like I'm gonna be here for a very long time doing this. So, you know what? Here's what it's looking like so far. I'll check in with you when I'm done. I have a feeling this is gonna take forever. Okay, here's where we're at with the frozen peach. So again, I think it would be cuter if it was yellow, because I think it would just look nicer, but I mean, Still looks okay. Kind of also looks like potato, um, so it's a little weird. But anyways, okay, I'm gonna take like one of these and just kind of crumble it up a little bit. Why are these literally the messiest thing on planet Earth? But it just tastes like childhood. I'm gonna do both, or maybe one and a half. And then lastly, we will do our drizzle of honey. Nothing too crazy, just a little bit. Okay, here is what we're working with. I'm actually just gonna like mix it in now because I wanna get everything and then we're gonna try it. Here we go, taste test time. I'm gonna make sure I get a lot of peach on there. Cheers. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm. Oh my God, it's so good. Mm. Do you know what it kind of reminds me of? Do you remember McDonald's? I don't know if they still do, but like back in the day, McDonald's used to have yogurt parfaits and it always had like frozen berries in it. And to me that just like hit so hard. And this is kind of like a fancier version of that. I don't really think I would have needed the honey, but like it tastes nice. I do want to try it with pistachios, but wow, this is 10 out of 10. I would highly recommend trying it. It really doesn't look that good, but I swear it is unbelievable. You have to try it. Oh my god, is there anything better than laying down in bed when you're sick? Ugh. I think what I'm actually gonna do is catch up on some reading because I set a goal for myself to read two books this month for my TBR and I'm on the second one and I'm only like, I think 10% into it. And as of today, it's like, I think a week left of August. So I think I, I think I can do it. Lately though, like I've just been reading, sorry if you can see leaves in the corner of of the frame there's a giant plant hanging behind you but i usually just read for like 30 minutes before i go to bed so it's just been taking me longer to like get through books i'm currently reading the housemaid's secret which is the sequel to the housemaid by frida mcfadden i was gonna look at my list of like what i've read so far this year so yeah i, I read the housemaid a couple books ago and I try to do like a thriller and then I'll do like a romance one or then I'll do like a random one that I've been wanting to read forever or you know just things like that. Um, but I did make a main channel video talking about like the books that I had read this year so far. But since that video I've read Things We Hide From The Light which is it's like a three book series. The third book hasn't come out yet. I think it comes out in September. 
Um, it's like a three book series where it's like in this small town. It's like the sunshine grumpy trope or whatever they call it. I learned about that on TikTok. And it's like so physically cringe. Like I'm so sorry to the author. There are so many parts where I physically cringe and like I actually can't handle it. But I mean, I'm still going to read the third book. Like I already pre-ordered it. So whatever. It's got some spice. It's good. So I would recommend that one. Um, and then I read The Housemaid, which was really good. It was like my first... Not my first like thriller because I read The Perfect Marriage last year or maybe at the beginning of this year. And that was sort of like my first thriller that I've read in a while besides the one, oh my God, what was that called? The Silent Patient. So yeah, maybe I have read like quite a few thrillers. But anyways, this is the sequel to that, I believe, or it's just a similar storyline, but I'm also pretty sure it's the same character. So yeah, I'm only 11% into it. And let me tell you, if it's anything like the first book, I was like, huh? It was so good. Like, I never thought to read thrillers, but yeah, anyway, I'm gonna shut up now. That was a long rant for nothing. I'm gonna try to put a bit of a dent in this, so uh, wish me luck. Well, it's a few days later and um, yeah, I got COVID. <laughs> <clears throat> I started feeling progressively worse throughout the day and then I think it was like the following day I woke up and I was like mm -mm, something's not right so I took a test and it was positive instantly so anyway <laughs> it's been a really rough few days but first I need to like listen we're in the trenches okay I've been so ill this is the first morning I woke up feeling semi-normal again so we're gonna shower and like cleanse our soul and then we will reconvene. <laughs> All right, that is feeling much better. Just took an everything shower and did a little bit of skincare, just like threw on some mascara, brow gel, and lip gloss just to like, I don't know, feel like I'm more human. Sorry, this tripod is wobbling all over the table, but I mean, I do have another like lounge outfit on, of course. I feel like I'm a little too close. There we go, much better. So anyway, um, yeah, I ended up getting COVID. I have no idea where I got it from. Uh, I got a few DMs from people being like, did you get it from Disneyland? Cause I went to Disneyland on Monday and then I tested positive on Friday. And I don't think I got it from Disneyland because nobody else that I was with even got sick. Um, and so I'm wondering if I either got it from somewhere I went like when I was out and about when my mom was here or I mean honestly who knows it could literally be from anywhere um, but it's my first time actually like getting COVID and knowing that I have COVID while I have it. I got sick in like what November or December of 2021 um we had Drew's niece over and she had been sick and she had tested negative and like she was like on the mend so we thought everything was fine so she came over and then we got sick like a few days later and we got really really sick but we both tested negative so I was just like oh it's fine and I I think I tested like the very first day um and I think that was right around the time that you were supposed to wait to test like and we didn't know we were supposed to wait to test until like day four or five and I had some friends who had COVID who didn't test positive until like day six or something so anyway long story short I found out that it was in fact COVID when the following January so a month or two months later I started getting symptoms of parosmia which is like a distorted sense of smell like I was smelling the most rancid horrible smell like every time onions were cooking garlic every time I walked by a coffee shop every time I drank coffee peanut butter meat like everything was just so foul and I only knew about that because Alexa had had prosmia and she had like told me about it and I texted her and I was like oh my god I think I actually have that anywho this is like my first time actually testing positive and then this morning earlier I retested to see if I was you know like if it was gone and it's definitely like faint um but it is still positive so that's unfortunate also is everyone okay i literally got probably 200 dms from people saying that they thought this was a pregnancy test when i showed it on my instagram stories and i was like it literally says covid on the actual test and the thing that i posted i'll post the story on instagram i just said well and that was it like imagine if that's how i announced a pregnancy <laughs> 
Anyway, so many people thought I was posting a positive pregnancy test on my stories. That's kind of funny. But anyways, yeah, it's actually been nice to sort of slow down because I think um, if you saw at the end of the last vlog, I've just been feeling a lot of grief, of course. In case you didn't know, my 12 and a half year old dog passed away and she had cancer and it was really sudden and awful and really shocking, even though like her health had kind of been dwindling for a while. And there's just so many things that like make sense now. Um, I have just been dealing with a lot of the effects of grief and I think because I've been trying to keep myself so busy to like distract myself as much as I can, in the long run it's almost ended up like putting it off in a way so yeah I just I, I think this was a good chance to just like rest and catch up on some sleep. I think it's actually been good for me in the long run. I mean I wouldn't recommend getting COVID. It was actually awful. <laughs> like it was actually horrible. There was one night where I was like kind of scared like I had chills and fever and sweating and like it was it was bad but yeah we survived and we got through it and it, this truly this month <laughs> has just been the gift that keeps on giving and giving horrible things I cannot believe that this is the same month that like Alexa and I had a little staycation for her birthday and we got tattoos and then Layla passed away and then like all these other like I can't believe this was all in the same month this was just like a very crazy month. I will be very thankful when it's over. Um, it is almost over, thank God. But yeah, it has just been truly like a roller coaster. And I've actually gotten quite a few comments of people asking about Moo and very kindly being like, how is Moo doing? Like, is he okay? Has he like been different since Layla passed away? And I love that so many of you are so sweet and thoughtful, but no, Moo does not care. He has not noticed. He has not changed his behavior at all whatsoever he I mean he's a cat like I don't know he just doesn't care about that kind of stuff everyone's cats are different of course but no he does not care at all so I guess that's a good thing because he they never were like close they just kind of tolerated each other but I do think that Moo has noticed like when I'm grieving like I have my moments almost every day where I'm like crying or upset and he always comes and comforts me so I think it's more like a selfish thing on his part um it does feel like he's more just like looking for comfort for himself but we love him for it nonetheless. I was reading a note of like everything I wanted to touch on for the rest of this vlog because it's like this is obviously just a very chatty vlog so that's where we're going with it. I even said at the beginning like this is, sounds like it's gonna be the beginnings of a sick vlog and like I had no idea that I was gonna you know that I had COVID at that time <laughs> but I did end up as a, like a follow-up to earlier in this vlog I did end up finishing the book that I was talking about which was called The Housemaid's Secret. I feel like when I'm talking about books, I do a really bad job of covering it, number one, because I have ADHD and like my thoughts are going from here to here to here to here to here, like all over the place. But also because like I don't want to spoil anything, so I try to just like glaze over it. But The Housemaid's Secret was amazing. I think I might have liked it better than The Housemaid and I loved The Housemaid. I've discovered that I really love like thrillers and I need to keep reading more of them because they really keep you at the edge of your seat and like you want to actually read more. So I finished that one and then I also actually read another book over the weekend and it's a Colleen Hoover book called Layla and I ordered it like months ago because of the name I was like oh like a book with the name Layla because obviously I'm partial to that name um, and it was totally different than I expected it was almost like a paranormal type of book I won't give anything away but I really loved that like if you are you know someone who reads and enjoys books like Verity um, which is another Colleen Hoover book which I highly recommend it was really good I think you would really like Layla so maybe you, you want to give it a shot I, I actually I mean it was like corny but I really enjoyed it and so now I'm on to another Frieda McFadden book called what is it called The Inmate I haven't started it yet well I'm on like page one but I'm just giving myself like a little reading break for the last like 24 hours because I've finished two books in like two days but yeah that's really all I've been up to I've just been on the couch reading playing my Switch, been playing so much Disney Dreamlight Valley, Drew and I have been watching TV. So far he's okay and hasn't been sick at all, um, somehow, I don't know, but then this morning he said he was starting to feel like a little icky, so we'll see what happens. Fingers crossed he doesn't get it, but that's kind of it. That's sort of the end of this vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, there really wasn't much going on because I was sick, but hopefully, I think like for the next vlog I'm gonna do just like a getting back into my routine, hopefully like feeling like a part of life again after you know a setback or just after life happens I mean I'm obviously not gonna do anything until my tests come back negative and I'm like not sick anymore but like I mean as far as 
on the agenda for today when I stay home. I'm just gonna like relax, do some editing maybe, maybe do some more reading. And I think that'll be pretty much it for today. So anyway, thanks for hanging out with me and stay safe out there, honestly. I probably should have been wearing my mask more when I was going places and now I think I will. I mean, I do when I'm going to like appointments, getting my brows done, getting my hair done, getting my nails done, things like that. But um, I mean, I probably could afford to do that a little bit more. I will definitely be getting my booster in September, which I think they say includes like this variant because I don't want to get this again, or at least I don't want it to be this bad. So um, I will definitely be doing that. But yeah, thanks for hanging out with me and I'll see you very soon in the next vlog. Bye. Sorry you had to see me looking like this. Thank you.